An organised and highly dangerous scam has been exposed, where trucking companies and drivers tamper with safety equipment to allow trucks to travel at breakneck speeds on Australia's highways. Several trucking companies are now under investigation and scores of trucks are being checked in a four-state crackdown that began today. 7.30 was given special access to Operation Discovery as police and road safety authorities declare that they will catch and prosecute companies and drivers who put public safety at risk. Tracy Bowden reports. It's just after dawn today on the Hume Highway south of Sydney and emergency services are dealing with the aftermath of yet another truck smash. A semi-trailer has crashed into a furniture truck which had rolled. This time no one was killed, but the combination of speed and heavy vehicles is too often deadly. Anyone going uh, beyond 100 kilometres an hour in a truck um, is risking life and limb for themselves and everyone else. Um, it's illegal uh, and it's dangerous. If you're operating illegally, we're going to get you. 216. Just two kilometres down the road, Operation Discovery is in full swing. The aim to locate and crack down on truck drivers and operators breaking the law by tampering with speed limiters. 7.30 has been given special access to this morning's operation. A number of vehicles have been stopped and it's not just the drivers who have committed offences, we have taken action against uh, some companies. The back of the gearbox yep. has a wheel which is a, it looks like a gear, but it's actually the computer senses, it's not a driven gear, but the computer senses the rotations of the engine so to speak, and on most trucks that's uh, meant to have 16 teeth, what they do is they can change that to have less teeth, which then confuses the computer of the truck to think that it's running compliant, yes. will actually allow the truck to run at a higher speed as well. Yeah. Yeah. The aim of this operation is to stop the rogues, uh, restore the reputation of the good guys, which are very much in the majority, uh, but to make sure uh, that we pull these rogue operators out of our state. This truck was picked up last Friday for travelling at 130 kilometres an hour. Now road safety investigators are using the latest software to check for electronic tampering in dozens of vehicles. What we're uncovering is uh, evidence of anti-tampering uh, devices being um, adjusted and evidence of uh, additional equipment fitted to vehicles which allows them to exceed that 100 kilometre speed limit. Under Australian law, trucks must travel no faster than 100 kilometres an hour, but the speed limiting equipment can be tampered with in two ways, by mechanically altering engine components or increasingly by tampering electronically with onboard computers. With speed limit tampering, it's a very frustrating topic. The road agencies and uh, the police agencies and the transport industry has been playing cat and mouse uh, over this topic for 20 years. Uh, whenever we get smarter and detect the latest in speed limiter tampering, the industry gets smarter. Today, two Victorian-based companies, Fred's Interstate Transport and Demarange, are the focus after their trucks were caught speeding earlier this month. The company's offices were also raided this morning. And in a multi-state operation, police are pursuing a total of 130 trucks. There are, we believe, 130 assets belonging to the two companies. We are currently tracking by surveillance 29 trucks. That'll continue through the night. Um, at this stage, we're looking at eight in Victoria, seven in Queensland, and a large number of trucks moving throughout New South Wales. The latest police operation follows this horrific accident in January. Calvin Logan and his parents Donald and Patricia were killed when a B-double truck crossed to the wrong side of the road. The driver, who worked for Lennon's Transport Services, was charged with three counts of dangerous driving occasioning death. An investigation revealed that eight of the company's trucks had been tampered with. South Australian-based company Scots of Mount Gambier has also been investigated. 
Peter Wells from Roads and Maritime Services, formerly the RTA in New South Wales, says authorities will be throwing the book at companies doing the wrong thing. Penalties for speed limiter tampering uh, are up to $3,300 for an individual, uh, $16,000 for a company, uh, and further if we take chain of responsibility uh, action it can be $27,000 uh, or two multiples of that for a corporation. As for who's responsible for the tampering, New South Wales Minister for Roads and Ports Duncan Gay says it's not just a few rogues, this is an organised operation. As we've targeted particular companies uh, from information provided and from the fact that their vehicles are travelling way over the limit, uh, we haven't found one-off uh, instances within these companies, uh, we've found numerous, uh, which indicates that within uh, at least some of these companies it's, it's orchestrated and organised. Trucking organisations support the police action but point out that the majority of those in the industry comply with the law. Drivers groups point to the pressure on some truck drivers to deliver goods in unrealistic time frames. Most of the guys are, are, are good, good, honest guys, you know, and do the job properly. But I mean, when the pressure gets put on, um, and especially when you get uh, threatened with financial penalties for not meeting your deadline, you tend to do what you can to make sure you do. Frank Black has been driving trucks for 27 years and says targeting drivers alone is not the answer. By cracking down just um, on the drivers themselves for doing it, I think that's only a band-aid solution and it's just the way of um, making, the, uh, making the authorities look like they're doing something. Um, they really need to get to the roots of the problem, which is client pressure. In today's operation, 14 trucks were grounded suspected of tampering. Also, three drivers were apprehended for being under the influence of drugs. One driver faces charges over methamphetamines, logbook irregularities and loading issues. Authorities say there are more truck companies under suspicion of breaking the law and the operation will continue until all of them have been investigated. We're putting a clear message out there. If you do the wrong thing, we're going to get you. And I don't know how dumb some of these people are uh, because we're not going to stop. Uh, we are continuing to get them and uh, we're not backing off. Tracy Bowden with that report produced by Greg Miskelly.